man, that thing's like being born in the 80s. It's rad. Hello and welcome everybody, Josh RV Nerd here in just beautiful Kalispell, Montana. This is one of the best backdrop sceneries I've ever seen around an RV dealership. Anyway, behind us is the 25 I Like You Cut G by Momentum, and this is a, like, this is a crazy thing. This is maybe 11 pounds of sugar in a five pound sack. It's what I call a smaller hauler, where it's not really long, it's stubby, but it's wide body, it's full super duper height, like a big on big old fifth wheel, with a kitchen living slide and an east-west queen bed slide, but it's not one of their fully bendy beds like some of the smaller momentums right here. Sorry, sorry, I got that wrong. I ran my mouth before I actually closed the slide up. It is a folding bendy bed, so the mattress does have to kind of move out of the way to uh, close the slide because otherwise it will clip this wall over here a little bit and you don't want stuff getting to a shoving match. So I never claimed to be perfect. I got it wrong, but if I get it wrong, the buck's gonna stop here and at least you're gonna know uh, what's what. It kind of uh, addresses some of those issues. Now the thing is, I don't think you should be handling this thing with your half ton empty. It's like 4,000 or 9,000 pounds, but it's got like over 4,000 pounds of available cargo capacity which is just awesome. They have huge holding tanks on these onboard generator. And it also has like, this does all the things most other travel trailer toy haulers don't do. Like you want that three seasons patio wall. So like you don't have to close the ramp every single night. That's the kind of stuff this one does right here. Though the window coverage on this thing is absolutely incredible. And I, I tell you what, especially being inside with the mountain backgrounds that I got here, I, I could, I see the attraction. I've never been a big toy hauler fan myself, but in an area like this, when you get to a destination, uh, this is, this is awesome right here. Now, uh, there's some interesting creative things going on here, but some things I love, the tall ceilings means like a tall idiot like me, I'm not constantly hitting my head in the shower. The onboard generator means you go anywhere. They do a little more factory solar on these as compared to most of their travel trailers with reflection outstanding. A uh, little camp kitchen on the outside, ramp patio to get you up off the ground, just enjoy things, floating chairs. It's different, but I kind of like it. I'm interested to see what you have to say about it. Now, I... I try to kind of showcase things sometimes in a little bit different, weird, and odd fashion. Not necessarily to uh, expect it to be used this way, but just to demonstrate uh, a feature. Like, what I'm getting at here is this comes with a pair of these swivel rocker recliner Euro style chairs. I've got, I and I, and I moved them into weird spots just so that you can see. You can do whatever you want with them. So often people think that they're just kind of stuck in one location they're not bolted to the floor they're lightweight if my stupid chicken arms can do it well then i'm pretty confident you're going to be able to do so as well uh but it, it kind of just illustrates the point that it gives you some a measure of flexibility now i i kind of like the one on the patio i think i'd move that one right over here because that will actually be one of the few places that actually has a good shot at the television but also when it's kind of sitting a little sideways like that it gives you just an awesome view of the ridiculous amount of campsite window coverage that you have on this one that's another thing i really like about this if what you're looking for is like scenic views and whatnot i wish this was parked actually right up by the edge of the property because out here with the mountains in the background like it really drives the point home now these are uh just like the big fifth wheels uh, you've got the, you know, the Happy Jack power bed lift system here. You got the fold down little middle armrest. Those can roll into a bottom bed. You have a power drop bed above. As you see, you can do uh, just drop the bottom ones if you want, or you can drop them both. Um, and we will look at those in a little more detail uh, later in the video. For now, moving on over here, we've got that 12 volt DC compressor fridge and you'll see up on the roof. I, I feel strongly there's enough solar to be able to compensate for uh, that fridge. Um, not to mention the RV has a generator on board. This is another thing that's a really rare find in travel trailers. That full-on three seasons sliding door glass screen wall combo jabo kind of thing right here. Most travel trailers do not have a, uh, a ramp door that is big enough to be able to accept that because those are only built in one size to fit fifth wheels. Also, 
The RV does include a pair of those puppy saver nets like you're looking at over there. So if you got a little toddler or dog or something, you can keep them from slipping out between the ramp patio. There's also like basically a full LED lighting strip back here. I'm picking up some wind. Sorry about that if that's hitting the microphone. We'll get back inside in just a second here because I know that that can be painful on the ears, especially if you're using some kind of headset or anything. Um, and this is because it's so big and heavy, it does sit on a, a tall enough frame that they do dovetail the rear end for some easy loading. And you have D-ring tie-downs all the way up to the kitchen area right there. Now, the question I get the question all the time, what's this measurement? What's that? Can you check this and check that? First of all, by the time this video posts, I'll probably be back in Michigan, and I won't be in Montana, and my home store doesn't have one of these, so I won't be able to hand-check things. But secondly, um, it, it really depends on the toy that you have. So get the measurements on whatever side-by-side -side or ATV or kayak or anything that you have. Call our team, they can get out here and hand measure everything because the trick with this one is it's not so much how much space do you have, uh, you know, like this. It's how much space do you have when that kitchen slide closes. And we'll take a look at that in just a little bit here in what I like to call road mode. Or as um, one of our handy viewers uh, point, I think it was a uh, screen name Slam Boy, if you're out there, thank you very kindly, with a phrase called load mode. And I actually really kind of like that. Um, where do we want to even begin here in this kitchen? Uh, let's let's start up here with that smart TV. Uh, one of the handy things on this is that it can actually uh, pivot around a little bit for some easy viewing. Now, it does have a power vent fan up here in the kitchen. It also naturally has another one of those in the bathroom. Um, neither of those are the big XL vent fan styles, but, you know, I say this all the time. You can upgrade those, but not included from the factory. That is one of those things because this is like, it's got a full fifth wheel height. It's got a full fifth wheel ramp patio and three season screen wall, but it doesn't have those big XL vent fans. It's just one thing that I don't know, I think would kind of work nicely in this. Now you may notice how you do have a heat vent off the side of that cabinet right there. Um, I think it's a smart decision that still some manufacturers I personally feel slip up on. They'll put heat vents in the floor of a toy hauler in a loading zone. That makes absolutely no sense to me. I'm glad they're not doing that here. Oh man. I, I showed you that storage space there, but I kind of forgot we have some extra storage going on uh, over in this uh, direction. Interesting, there's some USB outlets right here, but you know, I think I could actually make those work. Actually, these would be really good for the person up on the bed. That could, frankly, work as a pretty nice little uh, phone shelf. And when the power bed above us is dropped down, it'd be really handy for that person right there. Eh, there you go. Let's talk about the air system real quick. Uh, this is dual air capable and you will see that the rv that we're looking at today does actually have both factory air conditioners installed so if you're going to be hot climate camping doesn't matter where you're at you fire up that generator you're going to be good to go here they do fully frame in their door so it's not a peekaboo i smell you variety that's a technical term obviously as those of you in the uh, regular members of the rv nerd herd are uh, certainly aware now the bathroom that is fluffy friendly man that's a porcelain foot uh, flush bowl. There is lots of room around that sucker. And this is also something I really liked. I wish more manufacturers would do this. They built the Lipitorge storage into the hollow wall. And I wish more manufacturers would do that. So it's less sticking out. It's less to bonk you in the face. But it's super functional. I really, really like it. Something else I like, <laughs> the headroom in this shower. It's amazing because it is a full size toy hauler that you just happen to bumper pull instead of fifth wheel pull. Uh, man, the, the headroom up there was absolutely fantastic. I was a big, big fan of that. Elbow uh, room issues, uh, not a problem in this one. Overall, I was just very happy with the, the, the comfort and space of the bathroom because a lot of toy haulers just don't have good bathroom space like that. Now, this is a 60 by 80 true queen bed model. And that is all this one is going to be. There's not enough room in that slide box to be able to upgrade to a king. It's uh, easy to miss. Um, I'm going to, sorry, I'm kind of going left and then going right zigzag. I wasn't sure which way I want to go. There are power outlets right on the base of the bed down there. Household and a couple United States Bs, uh, the USBs as it were. Now, one thing I noticed, it's it feels maybe just a little bit dark in the front. Hold, hold up. Maybe I... Oh, wait a tick. Is this going to do what I think it's going to do?
First of all, I should have had a V8. Secondly, that's awesome. Because it is exactly what the, man, that is exactly what I felt it was missing. I guess the dumbest thing I did was not think that they had a grasp of it. Obviously, they do. Now, something that's also deceptive. This is a deep bed slide over here, like a, like a solitude fifth wheel, basically. You got the nice breeze across windows. I'm not sure, any any owners out there, if you could chime in, I'm not sure how I feel about those corner shelves. I, I'm clumsy. I feel like I would gash my head on that bottom one. Could probably be removed, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know. What, what, what do you guys think about those? Anyway, let's look at the storage up here in the bedroom. I like how the overhead doors flip themselves open and hold themselves there. Um, this bedroom, one trick about it, like... It's got some okay storage, but like it's got only that one interesting little closet kind of shoved up into the corner. This style of floor plan, that's just one of the interesting little catch 22s about it because, you know, they didn't have room unless they extended the RV another three feet, which totally changes, I think, how you look at this camper. But they didn't have room for a full big front closet. But is it enough? You know, for a weekend outing, I think I would probably have more folded clothes than hanging clothes. I think it would probably do the trick. I do really like this big chunk of counter space here, though. Part of the reason it's so big is underneath that is our little uh, mini camp kitchen space. And uh, I do believe it is high time to take a look at this one in road load mode. And this is what I was talking about earlier. I should have double checked before I ran my mouth, but it is a folding mattress and you do need to fold it out of the way to close the slide because otherwise it kisses that wall. Now, if you're just eyeballing it, you're like, are you sure you can't just squeeze the mattress over? And uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Unfortunately, I wish this wasn't the case. Even if you do try to squish the mattress over, it just... It just don't fit. And like Johnny Cochran taught us, if the glove don't fit, you must acquit. Now, I don't know what that has to do with anything here, but that's what we're going with. Now, remember, this is a kitchen slide model. So one of the big questions for road load mode is when we close the slide, what space do we have available? And again, there's 100 million zillion different measurements that you could possibly get in here. But the fact is, as far as I can tell by eyeballing it, I, I think uh, some side-by-sides would probably fit in here pretty well. One of the things to consider, though, is what are you going to do with those chairs in transit? By default from the factory, they actually ship up. Uh, sorry, I bumped the camera or my elbow against the wall. They ship over here tied down. Um, you know, kind of shoving them in the, the hallway, the entryway sort of works. But if you don't need to do that, taking them where I have them right now maximizes your, your loading kind of capacity. Here. But if you want to use those power beds at a travel stop, obviously that ain't going to work. And as mentioned, you do have basically a set of, I think, bigger than queen beds, effectively. Now, keep in mind, the little comfy headrest cushiony thing will be, like, it's lumpy. You know, it's lumpy. This is, uh, they opted for daytime comfort first, bedtime comfort second. And as you might notice up here, you got one of those handy uh, floating adjustable leg tables included with this guy. And what's cool about that is how multifunctional they are because it actually has multiple, like three or four different leg height settings. For instance, this is just to kind of simulate the idea. You can use it at like coffee table height if you're just sitting down and want to have a couple drinks between you. Though I think most obviously you'd probably use it as a dining table, but one of the, the leg foot adjustments on it is just slightly longer than the other so that if you do want to set the table back legs down in the dovetail, you can actually still keep the entire table level, uh, you know, even though the ground it's sitting on isn't actually level. Or if you need more prep space, or maybe you just want some kind of little elevated bar, you bring a couple little folding chairs or bars. Oh, I didn't get that one leg lock, did I? Uh, anyway, my point is, uh, <laughs> you can do a lot with it. God bless, it's beautiful outside. Now, I like to touch on towing factors when we first step outside here. Take another look at the weights and the measures. That GVW right there. It, like, before we even get to the hitch weight, I think with the GVW, and especially when you do consider the hitch weight, just, just don't even try to pair up a half ton with this. I just, I, I don't think that's a good, smart, safe pairing. Um, a, uh, you know, you're going to want a solid three-quarter, and, and again, really watch the payload rating on this one versus, uh, on your vehicle versus the hitch weight of this. And just 
every little nook and cranny and corner of this one's just a little bit different than I've seen before. Like, this is really interesting. The gas strutted drop down mini camp kitchen. It almost reminds me of a souped up version of those classic, you remember those Keystone Outback mini flip down cooktops with like a little sink? It's almost like that, but with a, with a fridge, you know? It's just different. Now inside here, this is where your inverter disconnect switch is located for uh, your uh, like generator system. And of course, we've got our uh, battery disconnect here. And basically, just a generic cargo bucket. But it's tall. It goes like, you know, up past that baggage door. I'd be kind of curious, what would you put in there or any actual owners of a Momentum 25G? What have you done with that space? I'd be uh, kind of curious to know. One thing that does surprise me, it, and it feels a little underwhelming just because everything else in this RV is so big in such a small package, was the dual 20-pound propane tanks. Now, 20s are cool because you can exchange them easily on a weekend, but a big rig like this, it kind of felt like I was expecting 30s. The 20s just surprised me um, a little bit. Now, under that bed slide, you do have yourself your uh, 4,000 gas generator right on board, so... It doesn't matter where you park. You can use everything in the RV, the air conditioner, you know, all that kind of good stuff. Um, the uh, enclosed docking center over here too is also something that when you start getting into the funky front end arrangements like this with that bed slide, sometimes little details like that get lost, but not here. Now, this is just a little campsite courtesy and being conscious of things. Um, remember where your exhaust is pointing and where you park the RV. And if you're going to fire up that generator, try to do so where you're not pumping exhaust right toward someone's campsite. If you can, you know, sometimes that's not really an option. Now, uh, I am happy because the kitchen and the bathroom are right next to one another. We do have ourselves a single sewer outlet on this RV. Underbelly's enclosed, forced air heated, uh, tank heaters, all that good stuff. We have uh, Goodyear Endurance radials. We have um, also something that, uh, other than reflection travel trailers, no other brand of travel trailer currently has factory standard, and that is this anti-lock safety brake system. And the way that travel trailers don't tow quite as nicely as fifth wheels, and if you're in an emergency braking situation with this kind of weight behind you, that is an absolutely incredible safety feature i've done a video on their anti-lock brake system kind of go i uh, you know kind of went through and showcasing before and after with it off and on uh on some of their 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 units and i became a believer instantly i went on a test drive with one and the anti-lock brakes on versus off was i mean to people say a night and day difference that that almost just doesn't feel like it it does it justice it was a major major difference to me and it's something that i very quickly became a fan of uh you also got tpms on these so analog brakes goodyear tires uh tire pressure monitoring campsite windows out the wazoo technically speaking good uh awning coverage and if you notice up top there you've got yourself the opportunity to do some really respectable solar on this camper right here um by default it doesn't have quite that much you're looking at one today with some optional extra solar but man with the expanded solar, like generally speaking, that should probably handle the demands of the 12 volt fridge. Then if you want to crank up your air conditioners, you've always got the generator on board to be able to do that. And uh, you know, just not a lot of travel trailer toy haulers have those big fifth wheel kind of features. Now the, it does have an awning off the back as well. It's a little windy right now. So uh, I, I don't want to open that up, but I do want to give you just a little bit of a look uh, at the back ramp patio here closed up. So you can see what the whole thing looks like because chances are you're buying the whole RV and you'd probably like to see what the whole RV looks like. I am, I am telling you, I am telling you, this location out here, like they told me, like Kalispell this time of year is one of the most beautiful places you're ever going to visit. And like you hear that and you're like, okay, yeah. Words don't prepare you. Words don't prepare you for views like that. I think there's literally a choir of angels on that hilltop over there. If you listen really close, you can hear them singing in the distance. <laughs> Well, let me, no, enough about that. Let me know what you think about this one. I'll leave you a link to check for uh, availability on our website, wherever we have one parked. Um, Grand Design's advertising policies do prevent us from having a discounted sale price published on our website or in a YouTube comment. Uh, frustrating, annoying, I'm sorry, but we do play by the rules here at Bishop's RV. Thankfully, we don't sell for MSRP, so keep that in mind. i also like to leave you links in the video description to check for things that are similar, but I, I've not personally run into too much that's really similar to this layout this is really 
this is really cool. I like this better than I ever thought I would. I'm not a big toy hauler fan, and like, it's threatening to be maybe my favorite travel trailer toy hauler maybe ever. I don't know. I got to think about it a little bit, but this one's, I like this one. This is really good. Let me know what you think. That's just my nerdy two cents. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.